And these I'm are some sure. of our more post-World War II items. Um, one of the more real uh, popular ones that people like to see is Neil Armstrong's flight training record. The Navy uh, creates something for every aviation student, mm -hmm. aviators, air crew, you, I'm sure you have one, uh, aviation training jacket or ATJ. Uh, and what it is, is just your record of flight school. And the Navy generally keeps them for 50 years because primarily, if say something in your career, you have a mishap or something, they are able to go back to your flight record and see if you had any tendencies in mm -hmm. flight school. So it's part of the safety process. But uh, we get first right of refusal as the Navy's Aviation Museum. And so we can request famous ones to come here for uh, in perpetuity because the National Archives who actually uh, stores these for the Navy, they are mandated by law to destroy them after 50 years. So imagine if some of these just went into the shredder. Yep. So this is Neil Armstrong's as a flight student. Uh, pink sheets are something you don't want to get in flight school. I think, I think there's about three of them in there for various deficiencies. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So he wasn't just a superstar? No, no. Oh, and <laughs> pretty much no aviator's record we have here was a superstar. A superstar. <laughs> and no, not all instructors were correct because there's one... Uh, one we have here, his name was Lieutenant William Hall, and an instructor just wrote, he has no self-confidence in the air. Later on at the Battle of Coral Sea, he shot down three Japanese aircraft and wow. received the Medal of Honor. So obviously wow. uh, he developed some confidence uh, since flight school. But uh, all of what we'd like to point out to the flight students is that, you know, naval aviation is a constant pursuit of perfection, but mm -hmm. you never fly the perfect flight. And you know that from your time with the Blue Angels, that the Blue Angels are famous for self-evaluation, mm -hmm. saying, I can do better on this. And, and you say, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. But uh, that's, the, that's the culture of naval aviation, trying to get better with every flight. And we point out that Neil Armstrong had below averages uh, routinely on various things.